and we are off. This is part three and the concluding part three of Google Keyboard, the Gboard. What you see on screen is uh, parts one and two are done. We have got to start here where the clapperboard is, looking at the one-handed layout and then get through as many features which are important in that time and then finish as this is a three-part mini-series. So looking at where we were, we need to start and let's be honest, if you've got this far so far, then you're utterly capable of interrogating, investing time looking at these features already. That said, there are a few things to look out for. So um, to remind ourselves where we were, which is pretty important because if you are building a personalized keyboard for yourself, then in my example, what I've done is I think the keyboard is a little bit too big and we can correct that. Um, it's of course got the numbers one, two, three through to zero on the top and I've hidden the emoji thing on the bottom left. So let's see where we are. Now I've got a Moto G which is what, five and a half uh, inch diagonal screen, so it's pretty big and I've got small hands. Um, so a one-handed mode might be useful if it looks like a right-handed mode. Uh, I've not really found a use for this yet, but um, I'll show you what it looks like and that means that the keyboard goes smaller and then it kind of like shrinks and there's a few extra buttons on the left so if I hit the little arrow on the left it swaps over to be I think that's a left-handed so therefore if you're holding your phone I guess I mean I haven't figured out whether you're supposed to hold your phone and use the other hand to touch it which probably isn't left-handed because you're using both hands anyway you get the idea then you've got this thing where you hit the um, oh that comes back again doesn't it so I'll tell you what have a, have a look around there, there's a few extra buttons, but I'm going to not spend more time on it. So at the moment, you can see that one-handed mode here is off, and if you turn it on, and you can use that cursor, left and right arrow thing to change it around. Keyboard height is worth the time. At the moment, which, which I just showed you, the keyboard is, I think, pretty tall, but you can make it shorter or taller. So if I look at the tallest it can be, then that looks a little like that so I would say putting my fingers up on the screen that's about over halfway over halfway that's where it is I know it's hard to look at but that's the point of doing this little um, mini series and then if I made it down to be the smallest that it can be which might be useful because I might use a little bit of a smaller keyboard it brings it down to be about that which you would argue to say I would say that, that being the short or the smallest makes the percentage of the screen from the bottom up, let, let's say that was 45% or something, and then you've got 55 at the top, and then it swaps over. So there, there is some tolerance in there. I'm going to leave it as it is at the moment. I want to whiz this video along to be thorough. Ah, oh, this is the good one. Um, key press, sound on key press, 100%. I love this, especially as I've got a brand new surround sound Zoom H2N microphone. So I've turned on the key press. I've also put up to 100%. Quite honestly, this is one of the highlights of messing around to do this because you'll get to hear it. I'll show you what it means uh, and sounds like. So what we've got here, I'm going to bring the phone down so you can actually hear this really, really well. Hold on, let's bring it down to... Hold on. Yeah, you can hear that. And then backspace love that and then enter backspace and key that'll do fun playing around but I, I think it gives it that authentic um, feeling of uh, sound if you're into that you know old-fashioned typewriter ding that sort of business now watch this now I've got on screen a horrid load of um, text that I don't want so with my spacebar all I'm going to do I think is hold on spacebar glide to the left moves the cursor can you see that all I'm doing is I'm actually sliding the spacebar if I wanted to get rid of the whole word I can use the backspace key and rather than press it go tap 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 like this look tap 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 what I can actually do is slide it so I just try and let me just move the sorry the phone up because I've got the microphone in the way right here we go so I'm going to slide that and the whole word is gone. So be careful because it will take out everything. So you see where it actually says backspace, backspace swipe on screen. Word gone. 
whoa, whoa, whoa. So you see what I did there is I, I just kept it down and I'm literally taking out a whole sentence at a time. Let me just see if I can back, get it back to where we were. That will do. So, um, okay, go back and I'll, I'll tell you why, because that's one of the features coming up. So look, sound on key press, I'll leave on. Vibrate on key press speaks for itself. Vibrace, vibration strength on key press. Okay, it's default. What else, what else? That's that's pretty much it. Long pressed for symbols. Speaks for itself. Long press. Okay, that's fine. This is the concluding part, so I don't want to uh, speed up to be silly, but I don't want to go too slow either. So preferences, I think we've just done. Okay, go back. Theme we've done. Text correction. Quite honestly, there's a load of things in there already turned on, but the one that I'm interested in is or the one that's turned off auto space after punctuation which is insert a space after punctuation I thought it did that anyway but it looks like here it's actually only available in US English anyway so that's it done next one because I want to right glide typing is the one that I have just demonstrated to you so top of it says enable glide typing which is on insert a word by sliding through the letters okay that's you know what that means, don't you? Hold on, let's just do it. Because we're getting to that point where if I went on and say I wanted to write the word anatomy, I could actually go and slide it with my right finger. A-nat-o-me. And it's done, and I did it by glide. That's quite a very popular feature. I think people know about that. Um, show a gesture trail which I think you just saw enable the gesture delete delete words by sliding left from the delete key I demonstrated that a couple of seconds ago enable the gesture cursor control which is move the cursor by sliding across the spacebar this is a new feature to me and I personally didn't know it was there and I'm delighted it is because getting the darn you know little thing you know where you do a, a not a typo but you just want to get in the text and you're touching on it this is education once you know it you know you carry around education with you it's in your brain the more you use it the more you know about it and that's that's it in a nutshell really so let's hope we can learn that one next one voice typing I think uh, hold load of sections. No, somewhere in here. Uh, is it in there? Do you know what? Don't care at the moment. You can you can investigate that. I think it speaks for itself. You hit the microphone. You speak a lot. Uh, dictionary. Um, delete the learned words. Don't know what that is. Had a touch of it, and I didn't want to delete anything. Search. Again. Yeah, I think we know about that. That's not really about the keyboard. Advanced. There was one thing in here which I've already showed you, which is the emoji with the physical keyboard. Right, physical keyboard, Alt. If I turn my physical keyboard on, okay, the thing is, there's nothing to show on screen about this. So if I look, like if I, I've got a Bluetooth, you know, plastic keyboard that's about, you know, 10 inches, 25, 20 centimeters long, and it's now turned on, and you can see right at the top of the screen that it's actually the Bluetooth is on on it. So if I go on, and this is the thing um, which is show. Let me just turn this back. Um, I don't know, what was it, what was it? Languages. There is a point to this. It is about the preferences to do with the physical keyboard. Has it gone? Um, can't see it. So this is a point where I need to be quiet and move on. Point being on screen is that in the settings somewhere, there is the idea that if I, at the moment, look, if I hit Alt on my physical keyboard, I get a load of emojis come up. That was not on screen. The other thing is that if I go and, you see, I try to get to the ABC QWERTY on screen I can't get there because it's hidden because I've got a physical keyboard there is a button that actually gets both on at the same time and it's pretty, it's pretty useful actually um, I think I've got to get to the stage where I'm ending so if you're with me thanks so much for your patience and I hope you learnt something I think in the advanced tab here show the app right this is the big deal see this second one and I really need help with this and anybody who's reading this show app icon display application icon in the launcher i've looked and i've looked and i've looked and i can't f figure out and I'm, I'm you know pretty okay at this i can't figure out what on earth it does so if you see this display application icon in the launcher let me know what it does because i can't see it 
um, at all doing anything. So that, I think, is this little mini series over. There was one other thing that's nagging me, and it will nag me. Perhaps I'll put it in the text description of the um, video here, because I've got to finish, and I know... Oh my goodness, it's just been over 10 minutes, so hope we've all learnt something together there.